Good morning. As we've been talking about, there's snow falling on much of the northeast right now, and some areas could see up to two feet. So we're going to head out to New Jersey, where meteorologist Mike Masco is standing by. Mike, clearly behind you, we're seeing lots of snow. What's going on? Here we go. We talked about this yesterday morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to everybody. And the storm is here. It's hitting pretty hard across the Jersey Shore. Let me walk out. I'll show you. Uh, I did kind of shovel a little bit, but this is a good solid foot of snow down along the shore points in Jersey this morning. Uh, we're looking at snow that started late last night, uh, right around the Baltimore, Maryland area. You didn't get much with this storm. I know Northern Virginia snow lovers were telling me all about it on Twitter this morning. Uh, but this is a raging blizzard now. And we talked bomb cyclone. It's called bombogenesis technically and this is going to continue to develop through the course of the afternoon and into the evening across Massachusetts. Let's take a look at the weather maps and you can see it's a blizzard, raging blizzard starting to set up just south of say Buzzards Bay in Massachusetts and still seeing some very heavy snow bands cro uh, crossing town. New York City just outside of New York City blizzard warnings where you see the coloring of orange. We have blizzard warnings in Boston up till six o'clock this evening. This is advising you that visibilities are going to be near zero during the course of the afternoon hours. And you can see Storm Track Radar has got filled in with snow. Take a line from, say, Salisbury, Maryland, and go way north up to Boston. It's very, very heavy snow. I'm looking at these temperatures. Pittsfield in the Berkshire Mountains is 8 degrees. This is one of the coldest snowstorms I've seen in, in years. And you can see from Boston, Hartford, down towards, say, Riverhead, New York, and Long Island, I think somebody's going to walk out of this storm with about two feet of snow. And this is noteworthy because big Boston snowstorms, all right, comes to mind. 2003, 27.6. The blizzard of 78, 27.1. So if we can get Boston into the into the two feet plus range, we might be looking at a historic Boston snowstorm. And I don't want to sell the wind short on this go around. Winds are going to be around 65 miles per hour in Barnstable as you get into Providence. So this could knock out some power and not just for a day. This could be power outages for a few days because we're looking at 20 inches of snow. So it's going to be really tough for these crews to get out there and try to restore power. So let's stay in this snowstorm in Boston and Providence and Hartford till about 6 o'clock this evening. New York City, you're wrapping up around 2 o'clock today, and then the storm is out of here. But in its wake, it's a lot of cold air. Look at the temperatures across the country. I think Chicago is going four below zero tonight. Uh, Minnesota, I don't even think one spot in Minnesota tonight is going to be above zero. So this is some real deal cold across the country. So yes, the Northeast, we're giving you a lot of attention this morning uh, because of the snowstorm. But this storm is actually carving out a huge trough that's bringing cold weather across the country. Uh, guys, I think it's 28 degrees for four hours straight in Florida. That could damage small branches on the city citrus crops. So could this could create an issue with supply and demand for the citrus crops. So lots of talk about multifaceted storm will be here all morning long. Back I think to that's you. the last thing we need is more supply and demand issues there. Mike, what are we looking at tomorrow? Is it going to get warmer? Are we still cold? Oh, we're still cold. We're still we're locked cold uh, probably until the middle of this week. And then if you want, I know you're watching in Iowa right now, you said, well, what about us? There could be a snowstorm in the middle of the country, a big one. So we're going to warm up in the east, but then we're going to probably get colder in the west. <laughs> Some more cold weather. You know, for me, though, I do hear good snow days, maybe out on the slopes. Uh, you know what's funny? Everybody, all my friends, they're all in the ski country right now, in the Poconos and the Berkshires. They said, there's no snow up here. There's more snow on the beaches than it is in the mountains. But nonetheless, you're still going to make some good snow. <laughs> all right, thanks, Mike Masco, for the latest on that right now. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.